it's very important that we look after our salmon. We have a story of Squamish Stomo as the Squamish human beings of our people approaching the salmon people and asking for help. And we have a family within our nation, one of our fishermen, every year that he goes fishing, he goes and he takes that first salmon back, still honoring those traditions. But we also work with the Coho Festival and we do the salmon ceremony as well there, just to show the people how important the salmon are because they were the ones that gave up their life for us to nourish us and so we must respect them. Coho workshops offer innovative art and science programming to local elementary schools through funds raised at the Coho Festival. It's one thing to understand and learn about protecting salmon and the habitat that salmon live in. And that's part of what Coho workshops offer. We, uh, in this case, have uh, biologist Doug Swanson come and help interpret the ecosystem of McKay Creek. The focus of the program is to take children from the classroom, get them out and exploring and learning about the riparian zone so that they can gain a respect for uh, the values that we have in the riparian zone and uh, to, to get a, a, a sense of what it's like to have salmon in their backyards. In the afternoon, we're going to be walking up to the midsection of the Kay Creek at Haywood Park and the kids will be introduced to the hatchery that's run there by North Shore Fishing Game Club and uh, with help from the stream keepers and myself. The kids will learn about why, why we're using the hatchery to introduce pink and chum salmon back to McKay Creek. Those were species of salmon that were here in the early years and were lost due to overfishing and habitat loss and development. So we'll, we'll talk about the value of trying to restore the ecosystem using healthy plants and animals and making sure that um, they understand the contribution and how the hatchery can benefit the creek and the ecosystem and the watershed. Another facet that is uh, part of protecting these creeks for the future is creating a culture of understanding the environment of protecting the environment, making protecting our local creeks for the future part of our social fabric. And art has a role to play in that. And that is why Coho workshops um, also engage students in creating artworks that go out into the community as a tool of engagement. And over the past couple of years, banners have been created and installed along Marine Drive uh, with designs from children's art. This year we are very excited to be working on a 100 foot by 30 foot mural at a recently restored estuary on Mosquito Creek. Uh, this will be a, a way of taking the inspiration that the students get from these workshops and offering it to the community. It's a very exciting and inspiring program and I'm looking forward to seeing the results in this year's mural. Anyway, it's really neat that you're doing this, uh, the painting, the painting of, the, of, the, of the building here. And how this is going to help help the estuary is a lot of people don't know there's an estuary down at the bottom of Bewick Street, right? They've forgotten all about it. So by you doing this painting here, when they come along the Spirit Trail, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of people see this mural, and it'll start making them ask questions about where does the water off the mountains go, and it goes down to the ocean here, and where the water off the land meets the ocean, that's an estuary. Hey, 